really itching to start pulling up this carpet. I just saw this curled and have to have a peek. Oh God, it's glued. Look at that mess. Oh boy, this house needs to breathe. Here's another room where it started lifting and it's one of those things where you just, you gotta have a look. Oh, it's way down too. Oh dear Lord, I think that was a rug pad. Oh boy. Oh boy. The stone floors are just crumbling in places, which I was reading has to do with them being too wet because the stone isn't breathing. This marble floor was looking a lot better about a month ago, but since the rains have started, I think that the dampness of the cellar is affecting the floor. I've got the humidity in this room down to about so upper 60s, depending on the day. And it just doesn't seem to be having any effect on drying these tiles back out. I just, uh, I keep sweeping it, wiping the floors with just a barely damp cloth to pick up the salt deposits, but it's just not getting better. I'm largely ignoring this room for now since I'm focusing on the entry and the guest rooms that will be used next spring. This floor doesn't seem to be getting any worse, but it's also not getting any better with the rain. It looks to me like somebody put self-leveling flooring over this and then later somebody else chipped it back off. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do to make this better. You can really see the spalling here. The spalling is when the stone deteriorates due to moisture content in the stone and the white is the salt deposits from the moisture rising to the surface to evaporate. This is the garden side of the house with the door to the back. The floor back here has also gotten worse. I don't come back here very often either. On the sunny days I come back and open up the door to air the house but I recently came back during the storm just because I always worry a little bit about the house during a storm and kind of walk around and make sure everything's okay. And I noticed that I had water coming in under the door and it wasn't that <clears throat> it was coming underneath the door from the, necessarily, it's coming underneath the threshold. So, I closed the shutters and that seems to have stopped it. But then it was all big mud puddle back here. So mopped it all up. And then while I was here, I noticed the wallpaper was falling off worse. So I gave a yank because these walls here have um, a vinyl wallpaper on them. So it was really trapping moisture. 
And I got a really ugly surprise with the mold. I think the, my solution is gonna to be to just remove the plaster and put fresh. So I've got my little dehumidifier back here. It's 74% humidity back here right now. And uh, this smells really bad. I'm wondering if this might be because the hot water heater is in the, behind that wall. I don't know, but it's really ugly. And uh, so I'll probably remove the plaster on here too and just start fresh. It seems to be plasterboard back here. So still have some more of the vinyl wallpaper to remove. Doesn't even match the wall next to it. I, I wonder if somebody was just covering up the mold. I don't know. Hate to think ill of anybody, but uh, would have been a quick solution to hide what was happening. So while I'm trying not to spend time in other rooms than my initial focus, and while I'm trying not to get spread out with my projects, I felt like I needed to come back and just give a yank on some of this and get the dehumidifier running. So that's it for my floor report right now. I'll be working on pulling up the carpet when I have friends come and help, so I'll have an update on the, the floors and the upstairs. See you next time.